everybody, this is Tad Hargrave and welcome to another edition of the Radical Business YouTube Focus on Your Niche. And uh, so this time we're going to talk about something a little different with the niche that I, I didn't mention in the sort of overview. And this is the difference between internal and external realities, uh, or demographics and psychographics. That for years and years what's happened in marketing is people sort of targeted specifically based on demographics. So, you know, for example, my target is single women ages 35 to 50 living in this area. It's demographics. It's things you can tell just by looking on the outside. Um, or black males ages 40 to 60 living in this neighborhood with an income of 50 to $60,000. And that's how targeting's really been done. And what I want to lift up is that that's a, a partial look at marketing. And there's been a big sort of sea change, a big shift in a lot of the cutting edge marketing where people are starting to see it's, of course, not just demographics, it's also what they call psychographics. It's the internal realities. These are the passions, the interests, the values uh, of people. And the important thing here is that there's also been a, a shift in the world, and I don't think it's a healthy one, I don't think it's a good one, but it's happening, between communities of geography to communities of affinity. Basically meaning that people used to just live in the same area, the same community. And that's where they got their sense of belonging. But increasingly, you know, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, MySpace, just the, the whole internet, people are coming together based in communities of affinity, meaning uh, they share certain values or interests or hobbies or whatever it is. And people often identify in that way. And so, you know, it's, uh, we need to start looking at these internal realities and not just the demographics. Because what the demographics don't necessarily tell you is how to reach them emotionally. It doesn't even necessarily tell you where to reach them physically um, in any kind of clean way. Uh, it also has the assumption that just because you're a black male ages 40 to 60 living in this area making this much money that all those black males share the same perspectives. But of course they don't. Just because their skin color is different, just because they have a certain income, doesn't mean they believe the same things or value the same things. So if you're going to write a marketing letter and try to reach all those people in that demographic, it would be very tricky or very impossible to do because you don't know what moves them. You don't know what already influences or inspires them or what problems they have. They're not all going to have the same problems. Um, so when we're looking at a niche, one way I like to think about it is if you were to get them all in a living room, you know, talking to each other, would you hear things like, wow, me too. Hey, I deal with the same thing. How do you, how do you deal with that? That's, oh, yeah, I deal with the exact same thing. Would they sort of commiserate with each other? Would they be going through the same kind of situations in their lives? Um, if they're not, mayday. But if they are, that's probably a good sign that you've got a, a pretty good target or a pretty good niche. So demographics, that's not to throw them out. It's not to say that, you know, how much money people make, where they live, um, you know, ethnicity, it doesn't matter. It can. But it's not going to be the whole picture. So when you're looking at your niche, you really want to make sure you're addressing the internal realities. And it's funny because people often will uh, identify each other. You know, it's, it's kind of the knowing wink. When they're walking down the street, you see a young skater punk walking down the, the street. They see another skater punk. Even if they don't know them, there's kind of this, you know, hey, you know, what's up? Even though they don't know them personally. People in these communities can often sort of see each other and identify each other. Uh, so that's another sort of clue I use. Like, do we have a good niche? Would they give each other the knowing wink walking down the street? If they don't, uh, you may want to look a little deeper. So that's it for this, internal versus external realities. Start noticing it, paying attention to it. When you look at your own niche, your own target markets, is it mostly just demographics and the external realities of what you can see from the outside? Or is it also the psychographics, the internal uh, realities? So that's it for now. Again, at the end of this video, there's a website you can go to download a free PDF, which has uh, it's a 30-page PDF all about the niche um, to help you sort of figure out what that might be for you and there's no charge for it. Uh, thanks for watching.